Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and I'm going to use my classic design tarot, the original tarot, and I'm going to use the gilded tarot. If you are interested in any of the cards that I'm using, please feel free to check out the links down below. All right, so Capricorn, what's going on with my Cappies? My Cappies. Sun card, what is that being crossed by? <clears throat> we have the Ace of Cups and then, oh, a very heavy relationship, like your happiness. Like there's, it's a relationship that's, that's dragging you down, that's pulling you down and, and kind of covering up your happiness and your brightness. All right, what do you need to focus on? We have the Hierophant. What are you leaving behind? We have the Five of Pentacles. What are your strengths? We have, I feel like it's moving forward. Um, near future, we have the King of Wands. The advice, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The environment, we have the King of Pentacles. The hopes and fears, we have the Seven of Swords and the potential outcome. I feel like it's focusing on you and I feel like it's you realizing what is it that you're focusing on, right? Are you focusing on the negative? Do you see how you're focusing on the negative? I feel like it's it's kind of you realizing, okay, what are those energies that I'm focusing on? What is that that I'm manifesting? Am I fa manifesting negativity because that's what I'm always focusing on? You know, am I saying, okay, the, this isn't going to work, or that's not going to work, or this person's going to hurt me, or this is, you know, this isn't going to work out for me. I feel like you kind of realize what it is that you're manifesting and you're bringing in, and that you're seeing that you're focusing on the three spill cups instead of the two cups. Sometimes we kind of need that tough love from that person that says, you know what, you're, you're really being negative. You really need to see what it is that you're focusing on or what you're looking at. And for you to really open your eyes and say, you know what, now that I think about it, you're really right. You know, thank you for pointing that out to me. Um, these are the things in life that we have to be open to and that we have to realize and we have to see what it is that we're doing ourselves. Like we have to take accountability for the things that we are doing to ourselves or for ourselves or against ourselves. And like I've said before, like, I've self-sabotaged myself so many times, like I can't even tell you, like sometimes I, I just surprise myself and it's like, okay, I have to take accountability because I put myself in that situation or I accepted something that I shouldn't have or that I was being negative about something and, and, and that's a hard thing to acknowledge and it's, you know, to swallow that pride and say, you know what, you're right, like that's what I was doing and, but you have to see it as, I'm so glad my eyes are open to that so that now I can work on it. Now I know what I need, to, a weakness, and I, what I, I know what I need to work on, right? Instead of just feeling like, well, I don't know what's going on, or I don't know what's happening. It's okay. I see what I'm doing to myself. I see that I'm surrounding myself with triggers or that I'm accepting, I'm making excuses for other people's bad behavior. All right. So we have the Sun card that is crossed by Ace of Cups. And like I said, I feel like there's a very heavy relationship, a relationship that you have. Now, this could also be you focusing on negativity. Again, your emotions and your feelings are focusing on this Ten of Swords and all of these things that are going wrong for you, that you feel that things are happening to you, not for you. So it could also be that, but there also could be a relationship that is around you that is very draining, that is... That is that is draining your sunshine um we have the fool and then we have partnership definitely four of wands a partnership a relationship um it's blocking you from starting new it's blocking you from starting fresh it's it's bro blocking you from being silly and fun and being being your true self like i just feel like you are not being yourself i f i feel like you've you've kind of switched what do you need to focus on? We have the King of Wands, we have the Hierophant, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like, I almost feel like it's, the Hierophant can represent, represents faith and belief and 
it's those um, kind of those guidance and the directions that we have that help us but it also can represent somebody that you trust that is very trustworthy that you can confide in I feel like with the ace of Pentacles ace of Pe Pentacles can represent physical I feel like I feel like you need to get moving I feel like you I, I feel like you're kind of stiff and I feel like you need to like start moving or stretching out which I know this sounds silly which it may or may not but I feel like when I sometimes when I have a lot of stress stress it's like we we become tight and we kind of go into like that fetal position and we start to hunch over and like your shoulders start to ache and your back aches and your neck aches and it's because we're closing in on ourselves and we're becoming tight. So I feel like for me what I like to do is like I'll literally like lay on the floor and I'll stretch out my back or I'll do some exercises. Five minutes, like it's, it's nothing crazy that I do. But let me tell you, that makes a huge difference. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can move my shoulders, my back feels better. Like I'm not having these pinching nerves. I'm, I'm stretching, I'm releasing that anxiety that has built up or that stress. And I actually feel more energetic. So I feel like you're kind of closed in on yourself and I feel like you need to stretch out. I feel like you need to branch out. Like you, you just need to, it doesn't even have to be anything crazy. It's just like standing there and like just putting your arms out and like putting them above your head or, you know, just stretching them out or laying on the floor and like stretching your back out. And you'd be surprised every night before I go to bed, I always lay on the floor and I always stretch my back out, you know, just to loosen up. And I have found that it's helped me to sleep so much better because I don't have that tightness. I'm not like hunched over from stress before I go to bed. So I'm able to release that. Um, so that could be something, you know, to look into. Um, so I feel like it's also maybe having those conversations with that person that you feel that you can trust. But I also feel like it's trusting and believing that you will work through this, that you will get past this, that you are working on things. Um, your past, what are you leaving behind? Yeah, feeling like you're out in the cold. Everybody wants to leave that five of pentacles behind, right? You don't want to carry that with you. It could be a friendship, okay? It could be a friendship. Um, I feel like it's definitely was unbalanced, right? Um, that's what I feel like. It's some sort of relationship, so it could be a friendship, a long-time friendship that you've had with somebody that we always have those, you know, we we grow and we learn and we change and we, we want different things and you know, sometimes, you know, those people, they're in our life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And, and then we have those adjustments and those changes. But I feel like, you know, we have to accept those and we have to see, okay, you need to focus on yourself and the direction that you're going in because you don't want all of this energy closing in on you. Um, and maybe it's just that adjustment of this friendship that, you know, maybe as the friendship has become very heavy for you and... And it's, it's put a lot on you. Um, your strengths, seeing things from a different perspective. I love it because the hangman is my favorite card. There we have the five of pentacles. I feel like in this instance, it represents that you're able to take that time to step away and recharge yourself and to build yourself up and then move forward. So I feel like when you're able to have that alone time, you're able to see things from a different perspective and then move forward with there, from there with a clear head. Um, also, it could be that this friendship here is something that is maybe putting you in a negative frame of mind. That maybe like it's, you're, you're not feeling happy in this friendship, in this relationship, and it's, that's what this friendship has done and so you're like okay I have to move on from this that this is not serving me it's it's not helping me and it's something doesn't mean you have to have a breakup but it could be okay I have to distance myself from this relationship because it's making me feel heavy that it's affecting me and maybe it's something that you know you still have communication but it's not about it's just about like it's a surface relationship 
<coughs> but of course you have to decide what is best for you and what works for you but it's definitely something to think about um, the near future I feel like you have to make some tough decisions here especially when it comes to this relationship that you're going to have to make some tough decisions because you're looking right at those hard choices and those hard decisions that you have to make and I feel like you're kind of going in that back and forth but I feel like you have to choose what is best for you I feel like there might be some indecisiveness there and if you don't feel ready to make a choice or a decision then sometimes if we just give things time for things to play out then all of a sudden there it shows us the direction or it gives us that guidance that we need to do in making our choices um, especially oh look at this okay so we have two knight of pentacles so the advice is knight of pentacles represents slow steady progress that things you know and both of these are kind of standstill that things are kind of at a standstill but each one of these nights is facing a different direction and that's what i was saying is maybe you're not and this future energy is that you're not really cl clear what to do but I, it's almost like stand and wait to see what happens and let things display to yourself to see what the choices are that you need to make or what it is that's going on for you to remove this energy that is crossing your sun card that's not making your ha you happy what is this energy what does this pertain to what is it partnerships friendships right it's blocking your your new starts you're you're trying to work towards something but it's blocking that energy so I feel like maybe it's just time to maybe you're questioning is this really happening with my friendship or is it not and maybe you just need more information. Am I always thinking about the negative? Wait a minute, let me stop, let me think. What am I always thinking about? Am I always going to the negative and saying how things aren't going to work and how things aren't going to happen? Is that something, what can I change within myself? Wait, let me take a break here and let me see what's really going on here. King of Pentacles, we have the environment, which is the hermit, Virgo, looking within, finding that path and those answers. We have the King of Pentacles, which is somebody who is patient somebody who is determined and somebody who does not want to give up and nine of wands is hang in there don't give up that's what the kind of that's what i was kind of saying with these two knights that are going in a different direction it's like if you can't make a decision then just maybe wait it out and see if something guides you to the direction you need to go in and maybe it's that time for you to to do this like this here is take that time for yourself maybe you have all of this going on around you and you haven't had that time to process everything that's going on you haven't had that time to be that hermit or to have that four of pentacles to really think about what it is that you want hopes and fears knight of swords seven of swords ah oh, and nine of cups everything working out yeah definitely when we're going through these struggles and these hard times we're like well is this going to work out is this not going to work out is this going to be in my favor am i going to feel better am i ever going to smile again am i ever going to laugh again am i ever going to be silly right am i ever going to feel that sometimes when we go through such heavy energy we're like wow is this ever going to get better and yes it does it will it, it will change because life is always changing and it's also about your perspective and your and 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 that sun will come through again because you're going to focus on it you're going to manifest it you're going to say yes I want to be happy I want to be silly I want my sun to come out I want to feel bright I want to feel light um potential outcome we have I, I feel like okay two of cups love it and the emperor Strength, power, relationships, um, loving yourself, making the best choices for yourself, taking that time alone, focusing on those people that are there for you, um, feeling strong, feeling powerful, knowing your direction, seeing, again, like I said, are you always focusing on the three of cups? And if you are, then you're, then you say, you know what, I don't want to be in this energy. I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to put that stop sign on there and I'm going to focus on what is in my plus column right that's what i say focus what is on your plus column yeah you might have more on your negative column but okay we're not going to let the negative column drag me down i'm going to focus what's on my plus column right what do i have going for me what is a pot okay even if it's oh it's a sunny day out today okay that's in my plus column right um 
you go to choose something, which that's happened to me lately. Where was I? What was I buying? I can't remember. I was looking for something at the grocery store. Oh, my pretzels. There was a certain pretzels that I liked. And so I was looking and looking and looking and I couldn't find them. And then I found the brand that I liked. But I liked the really super thin ones. And there was only one bag left. <laughs> and I was like, oh, like all of these bags of pretzels. But there was only the one bag of the thin. And I'm like, I'm so happy. Like that's in my plus column, right? Because there was one bag left just for me. So I was able to get my pretzels. So um, like just building on all of those little plus things that um, are in your plus column and then building on that, right? Instead of focusing on the negative column. Um, so I feel like that's what you need to do and that's what you need to focus on and to help build yourself up to that emperor status and that power and that strength. And it's all about perception and how you deal with it. Okay, so we have our energy oracle. Energy oracle cards for Capricorn. Man holding a, a heart. I was going to say cart. <laughs> Maybe I was thinking of my shopping cart. Um, loving yourself, you know. Love. It could be somebody. For, for some reason, I felt like for some of you, there may be. It could be new relationships coming in, a friendship, a partnership, new love coming in for you, passion, excitement. Um, it could be you feeling passionate again, you feeling excited again, you choosing you, you focusing on these two cups here, what you love, what you love to do, what you love to focus on, what makes you happy, um, and you feeling passionate again. Because I feel like that that's you know, it's kind of, this is crossing you, so like you sort of lost that, but it's like, okay, I want to find that again, right? I want to find that excitement again. So we have our Star Dragons card for Capricorn for this reading. We have healing, restoring hope. I love it. I love it. That's perfect for this reading is restoring hope. And not leaving that up to somebody else to restore your hope, but you taking control of the situation and you restore your own hope and your own faith and your own belief in yourself. And you seeing what the weak spots are, you seeing what needs to be addressed, you seeing what needs to be distanced or let go, you seeing what needs to be focused on, you seeing you hanging in there, you're not giving up, you seeing, okay, what makes me happy and, and what is in my plus column and how do I add to my plus column and take away from my minus column that you're in control of your life, that you're healing yourself. What do you need to heal? what helps you to heal and then doing those things or finding those things or being in that energy to heal yourself and restore hope. All right. And then we're going to grab a spirit, spirit animal oracle for Capricorn for, the, ah, all right. <laughs> They're all over the place, right? So we have we only had the one that came out, and that's the wombat spirit, and that is be at home, which means being comfortable in your own skin, knowing that you will make everything okay, that you will make everything right, that you are in control of your life, that you are in this emperor energy, that you are powerful, right? That that you can be comfortable in your own skin, that when you're by yourself that you are comfortable, that you feel safe, that you feel things are good, that you feel that things are positive and that things will work out for you and being comfortable in your own skin and not be feeling awkward about yourself. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.